help bring to life the story of Bright Skies in the accompanying palette, we have joined up with four of the most incredible storytellers to bring the palettes to life. And today, I'm going to be talking to the first of those storytellers, Joe. Hello. Joe, tell us a little bit about your amazing home. I moved into the place that I've got now, the coach house, and it was just furniture and not really much more. And I already had plants at my previous house, so I was slowly bringing them in, but obviously it was still empty, because I went from one room, one bedroom, all the way to two storeys. So it's literally grown with me. So I've got about 1,400. That was the last time I checked, <laughs> but that was about a year ago. You are going to be bringing to life my favourite palette, which is the greenhouse. I'm going to give you some ideas about how you can really use that to, to make the most of this palette. Bright Skies is our colour of the year. It's a colour that just captures exactly what we want and what we need after we've been locked indoors for so long. Here's the palette of colours. We have 10 colours. Bright Skies is always one of the colours in, in each of the palettes. And this is what we call the greenhouse palette. So it's those beautiful colours that when you put them on the wall, the walls just melt away and it reconnects you with the outdoors. And I know that you will love this palette because it's so natural and it just, it gives you that kind of breath of fresh air um, in, in your house, but you don't necessarily have to use it on the walls. So here on the walls, we've got Moon Cloud, but here on the picture frame, Tranquil Dawn. And then these colors we've just painted up. I literally went to a car boot sale, <laughs> spent no more than 50p. And then wow. to bring this color into, into, to, into my home, I've just painted up using the palette just to paint up vessels, pieces of driftwood. And it's a, it's a lovely way of, of just getting those pops of color into your home. Wow, I actually, I really love it. It's given me a lot to think about because I really want to do it now. Um, Cause I can't paint my own walls, so it's nice that I can choose the different colours and work with it and it it just complements the plants, all these colours, because they're so light and they've all got really fantastic names. Yes, they do. <laughs> which is brilliant. We are going to hero my Hoya. We're going to paint a circle around it, a little bit like a spotlight in bright skies. So are you happy to do that? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Let's get an apron on and let's do that. I'm going to have a piece of string. I've got a knot on the end of this piece of string, which I'm going to cut drawing pen, pop that just there, tie that on there, and pull that to taut. That's yours, this is mine. I'm just going to do the outside, and then if you fill it in, I think that will do. What do you think? I actually really love it. It just brings everything together. So it's really given me so much ideas to you know, maybe paint the plant pots or buy some old vases or even get some logs of some sort to really bring colour into my house. You also mentioned a piano. Yes. So I've got an old Edwardian upright piano, uh, many, many years old, and it's just been sitting in the garage doing pretty much nothing. But I was just thinking, maybe I could paint that. And I think bringing that into the 21st century, it'll really spur me on to fix it and maybe even play some songs on it. I really love your idea. I can't wait to see what you do with these colours, Joe. Joe, it's been an immense pleasure having you here. Yes. You definitely are my favourite, oh. but don't tell the others. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>